Do you know the story of Deborah from the Bible? She was an extraordinary woman in ancient Israel, known for her leadership, wisdom, and courage. Deborah's story begins in a time of turmoil, when Israel was oppressed by foreign rulers. But through God's calling, she rose to be one of the most remarkable leaders in Israel's history. Let's dive into a remarkable story. Deborah was born sometime around 1200 BC. Though the Bible does not tell us much about her early life, Jewish tradition suggests that she came from a noble family of the tribe of Ephraim. During Deborah's time, Israel had no central leader or king. Instead, God raised up judges to lead and guide the people. These judges weren't just legal authorities, they were chosen by God to deliver Israel from oppression and bring justice. Deborah became one of Israel's judges, but what made her unique is that she was the only woman in a male-dominated society to hold this position. She was known as a prophetess, someone who spoke on behalf of God, sharing divine messages with the people of Israel. Her role as both a judge and a prophet made her a key figure in guiding Israel through difficult times. Deborah was married to a man named Lapidoth, as mentioned in the Bible in the Book of Judges. However, not much is known about Lapidoth beyond his name, and the Bible does not mention whether they had children. Deborah was known for judging Israel under a palm tree. This wasn't just a random choice. It symbolized several important qualities about her leadership. The palm tree became known as the Palm of Deborah, where people came to her for wisdom and judgment. The palm tree represented her fairness, openness, and accessibility. People trusted her judgments because they knew Deborah would be impartial and just. This decision to judge under a tree made Deborah's leadership accessible to all further reinforcing her role as a leader for the entire nation. When Israel was oppressed by King Jabin of Canaan, who ruled over them for 20 years, the people cried out to God for deliverance. God chose Deborah to lead the nation in this time of crisis. She sent for Barak, a military leader, and commanded him to gather an army to fight Sisera. Jabin's general. <laughs> now imagine Barak's hesitation. He says, Okay, Deborah, I'll go, but only if you come with me. Deborah, with her boldness, was probably like, Really? You need me to hold your hand? <laughs> but she went anyway, knowing that God's victory was certain. But she warned him that the glory of the victory would not go to him, but to a woman. This prophecy proved true when Sisera was defeated, but the final blow came not from Barak, but from Jael, the wife of Heber, who killed Sisera by driving a tent peg through his temple while he was sleeping. Deborah's leadership wasn't just about fighting wars, it was about trusting God's plan and guiding the people to victory through faith and obedience. She didn't hesitate to take on the task, despite the challenges showing her courage and unwavering faith in God's guidance. After the victory over Sisera, Deborah and Barak celebrated their success by singing a song known as the Song of Deborah. This song is one of the oldest recorded poems in the Bible and serves as both a praise of God for his help in the battle and a reflection on the courage of the Israelite leaders and warriors. The song mentions the key moments of the battle praises the brave women who took part in the victory and serves as a reminder of the power of God's deliverance. After the defeat of Sisera, Israel experienced 40 years of peace. This period of peace and stability was a direct result of Deborah's leadership. She brought Israel not only military victory, but also spiritual renewal. Her leadership helped restore order and justice among the people, and they followed her guidance with respect trust. Deborah lived a long life and passed away at an old age after leading Israel for 40 years. The Bible doesn't give specific details about her death, but it is believed she was buried under a terebinth tree, which symbolized the lasting impact of her leadership. The peaceful period she helped establish didn't last forever, as Israel would soon fall back into sin and oppression. However, Deborah's legacy lived on, and her story was remembered for generations 
as a powerful example of courage, wisdom, and faithfulness.